Hi guys and welcome to the happy heart. I'm so glad you guys came back for my household haul. This is probably somewhere in the neighborhood of about $200. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a little bit more. I actually went shopping and there's a separate video for my grocery haul. Um, I did go all together though and all together it was $840. I know. Tell me about it. I'm trying to do this once a month haul um, to just avoid going to the store so much and I just thought it'd be easier. I don't know if it's actually easier or not. Maybe in a month I'll think it is, but right now I'm just so tired. So um, me and Ryan actually went shopping for about four hours today and it was really hard. I had two cards and I'm actually having like a big kind of dinner party at my house on Friday for about 16 to 20 people. So I had to get a lot of extra stuff. And so that's why you'll see some stuff in here I don't buy actually like on a normal basis. So um, I will show you the household haul and all the fun stuff uh, is all over my coffee table and all over my house. Alright guys, this is an overview of my coffee table. It's round and it is full on all sizes. Ryan is rearranging things for me. All right guys, to start off the haul, simple, easy stuff. I always buy, if I don't go to Sam's Club, I always buy Scott paper towels. I just really like them. Um, I like how thick they are. They just work really, really well for me. So I always buy that brand. And um, this is just the Great Value brand of toilet paper. It was just the best um, price at the moment. We'll start on this big haul. I actually um, bought this strainer because I, I needed it for a recipe and I needed a new ice cream scoop and I really wanted one that had this thing. Um, I thought that would be easier especially for my little guy. Um, I picked up one of these first aid kits. I really want to throw this in Anthony's um, he travels a lot for work and I'm going to throw this like in his luggage he, um, just so he has that because he's always getting banged up and stuff. He probably won't use it, but it was only a dollar. And I'm actually going to put these in his stocking um, for some travel Q-tips for him. I went ahead and grabbed myself these two masks. One was like a charcoal mask. One is a sweet tea and lemon mask, and they're both peel-off masks, and I just thought I wanted to try them. These, I've never seen these before, ever. It's called Little Scrubbies, and if you guys can tell, it's like a little um, scrubbing pad for apparently your face, and I am constantly trying to exfoliate. I have really dry skin, especially on my face, so um, I have to moisturize a lot and exfoliate a lot. So. I wanted to try these. These are about $3 and they have little suctions for the, I'm assuming in your shower. This was also an end cap item and I thought it would be helpful to remove makeup. It said kind of that's what it was for and that you can basically just use water. I just wanted to try it and see if it would actually work. Some other stuff on this side. I got Ryan some vitamins. I was out of Tylenol the other day so I went ahead and grabbed um, some off-brand Tylenol. I finally ran out of this stuff. I wasn't actually sure of this stuff, but um, it's the Aussie um, Three Minute Miracle, and it works really well. So in between getting haircuts, that works really well for me because I have thick hair, and I just ran out, and it's been four months, I think. So that lasted, the last one I had lasted a long time. I went ahead and got some construction paper for some homeschool projects that we're doing. Um, liners, because girls, you know, you always need those. Uh, this is my favorite Calgon uh, bath salt, and I just love taking baths, and this is my favorite thing, and it's pretty cheap, a dollar or two. I think it's about two something, actually. I went ahead and grabbed some bleach, that's what's back there. Um, I grabbed these I was afraid I was out of dishwashing soap, so I went ahead and grabbed these pods. I normally don't use pods, but I always use Cascade with bleach, so I always make sure I look for the Clorox symbol, 
and I never have any problems with um, my dishes getting clean as long as I use Cascade with bleach and I feel like it's just a better overall. I actually went ahead and grabbed some baby wipes um, because you can always use those. Went ahead and grabbed some um, flossers because we were out of those. This is the shampoo that Anthony and I like, and I really like the Dove body washes. This new um, Snow Blossom um, is actually, I've never seen it before, but it smells amazing, guys. It smells so good. So I'm trying it before, but I really like the Dove. I feel like it, it puts a lot of moisture back in my skin. Went ahead and grabbed some contact stuff. I went ahead and grabbed some tears, some contact solution and some cases. I actually work in the eye field or I did for like 15 years. So I never had to buy this stuff. It's really expensive. I was like, oh my gosh, I always got it for free. So I'm just, have been spoiled for the last 15 years. I went ahead and grabbed one of these little things. I always do a photo of Ryan that year at Christmas and put it on my tree. And I thought this one was really cute. I was afraid if I didn't grab it, sorry, it's going in and out of focus. I was afraid if I didn't grab it that they, it would magically just not be there. So I went ahead and grabbed that. This was kind of my splurge. <sighs> it's actually a butter dish. It's a Pioneer Woman butter dish. And I am really known for making bread. I'm making bread for my party on Friday. So I need a pretty butter dish, and I thought this was so pretty, and I didn't have one, weirdly enough, so just thought I'd grab that. All right, guys, we're going to go to the other end of the table, and as you can see, it is quite full as well. I got these china plates, and these are actually, let me show you guys, these are actually the bigger plates, and there's 80 of them, and I thought this would be better for, um, we host a lot of small group at our house and things and I've been buying the smaller plates and I thought this would be a better thing. This whole thing was about $10 so it was a little bit pricey but I just went ahead and bit the bullet and got that. That is actually what the cups are for as well because we have um, company a lot of times and so that's what those are for. Um, I went ahead and grabbed some dryer sheets because I was afraid that I didn't have a lot and so I just grabbed a small pack um, till I could look and see what I actually had and I don't use these all the time but I actually don't like dryer sheets but there's lots of cases where I need them <laughs> so um, I kind of just buy small packs and use them sparingly. I really needed some new mixing bowls, so I went ahead and grabbed these two mixing bowls. They're both the same, they're just different sizes. They're stainless steel, but this bottom part is actually a um, kind of a rubber material so that when you're mix, I assume when you're I'm making a lot of noise, I assume when you're mixing that they don't go anywhere. Also, I'll show you guys on the bigger one, they have. Um, measurements inside which I thought were really cool. They're by this um, brand and it was just kind of, this was kind of a splurge item but I was just tired of not having what I wanted. The other thing I grabbed was Clorox wipes because I was totally out and I disinfect all the time. I went ahead and grabbed this for Anthony for Christmas and he said that he wanted this. It was about $40 if it focuses. It's the best of and it has all these different shows and we've watched a few of them but he loves documentaries and this and so that was actually not a part of my what I would normally buy. Figured while he wasn't with me I would grab it for him. I went ahead and grabbed another measuring cup. I actually have two of this size and a bigger size and for some reason I just feel like I, they're always dirty they're never I just don't have enough so I said you know what that's silly for two dollars three dollars whatever this it was I'm gonna grab another one um, I went ahead and grabbed a claw clip because I didn't have any and I needed them for when I straighten my hair and do my hair these were splurge items but Ryan loves all of this superhero stuff and so do Anthony and I so we grabbed the new Spider-Man and then I saw this fun movie that looked like a movie I would like and so I grabbed that. I went ahead and grabbed Anthony this razor. He was 
complaining the other day that he didn't have a razor, which I thought was so weird. But, I don't know, I guess it's not focusing. Sorry, guys. But I don't know, he just didn't have one. So I said, I'll grab you one. These cleaning supplies, I actually got at Lowe's. And um, on my, I stopped there before I went to Walmart. So um, I went ahead and when I was getting my specialty light bulb that I had to get, um, I went ahead and grabbed these because they don't sell this brand at Walmart. Um, or this brand. I really like this method soap. I used it when I worked in a clinic as well. I was an ophthalmic assistant and this is the kind my doctor preferred and there was this whole medical explanation of why he liked it. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed two more. I already have one but I wanted them to be um, uniform around my house and then I grabbed, I went ahead and grabbed the refill pack because I never go to Lowe's. So I just wanted to get it while it was there. Um, everybody talks about this Myers brand and that it's wonderful and I hear about it on YouTube and I see everyone using it and this was the limited edition seasonal scent and it smells really good. I briefly opened, I think it was one of these and it smelled so good so I was like okay I'm gonna grab that. <laughs> so I went ahead and grabbed the dish soap, the hand soap and the multi-purpose cleaner or multi-surface cleaner and I thought this would be good for my kitchen, um, possibly my bathroom, so we'll see. And it just smelled so good and I heard such good reviews that I really wanted to try it. All right guys, I think that was my whole haul. I can't think of anything else I bought today and really, um, I just spent so much that I'm hoping it will last a month and I'm hoping it'll work. So thank you guys for tuning into my haul and go over and check out the grocery haul if you haven't seen that as well. But this household haul was probably uh, at least $200. And I'm so glad that I could share it with you guys and kind of tell you what I use versus what you use. I love to watch other people's hauls and see what kind of products they buy and what they really like. So I'll let you guys know.